there. No. They teach you that in kindergarten. Yeah. And I'm not saying it's right or deserved or anything. It just fucking bad shit happens to and, good people. And the other mess up thing is, kind of like you were saying, there's people who don't deserve their babies. You see the worst of the worst people having babies. Like, yes. all, all the you see these, like, 24-7 uh, out, alcoholics. You see these drug users, drug abusers. They're having perfect babies. Nothing wrong with the baby. And... They could care less if they have a baby or not. Like, what the fuck, dude? Come on. I I think if we were to able to get into the healthcare system and look up the EBT, we'd have a really good account on who has the babies. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> what? That's not wrong. No, 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 no. You're you're absolutely right, and I mean, valid points and arguments on each side. Um, you know we're. The whole the whole team is here for you, bro. You, yeah. you, be, beyond the podcast, you're you're your your friend, your your fucking fam- you and Leslie are like are like family to me. Appreciate and that, man. whatever from our side we can do through this through this turn. I don't want you want to say this situation, this time uh, this time in your in your guys' life right now. Don't don't hesitate. I mean, you guys yeah. have been there for me through the good, through the bad, through the freaking worse. Mm-hmm. Um, and, but I'll tell you right now, you have, you have a great woman at your side and Leslie, you have a, you have an amazing man at your side and you guys deserve each other. You guys are strong enough to pull through this. It's, it's a horrible, horrible thing to go through, but at least you have each other to, to make yeah. it through. The, the fact that you guys are still together mm. is a testament of how strong your relationship is. Yeah, I mean, it, it really is because. Like I said, situations like this would usually break would break people up because yes. of the emotional stress. But like, it, it honestly brought us closer together, and I honestly think we're doing. I mean, not to say that we weren't ever doing good, but we're doing. You know, we're doing a lot better. You know what I mean? You're a team. Yeah, like, like a we're, solid team. Yeah, exactly. And best wishes Thank in you. the future. Thank yeah. you. I mean, we are going to try again. Um, the doctor saw that she needs to heal up for like at least six weeks, but I don't know if we're gonna try directly after, or if we're gonna wait a bit, or if we're gonna, you know, yeah, wait. That's, that's wait. for the future to yeah, figure out. Exactly. I mean, you don't you don't need do, to decide that now. Like I said, like we do want to try again. We might wait a bit. You know, you'll figure it out. Yeah, you'll know when the time's right. Yeah, step by step, day by day. No pressure. Yeah, no pressure whatsoever. I mean. I mean, we're not pushing an advocate. No, I, mean, I mean, you know, you know, you got no quota to meet with us. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, no. Um, we're gonna take a quick break, and uh, we'll be right back. Wait, Mike, are you done? Yeah. Oh, Mike, do you have anything? You- uh, just, you know, I'm, I'm just, uh, you know, I, when we put that post on Facebook and just seen all the comments and like, just it was, it was just good. To, it was, it was cool to see that you know everyone you know throwing their heart out there and prayers and everything and. It's just really cool to see, you know, all the love and support from everybody. So I just want to thank everybody for that. You're a good guy. Thank you. You deserve it. Thank so you. does Leslie. Yeah. You and the dogs. Been... And the you guys have a cat too, right? Two. Two, 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 two dogs, yeah. You've both been through a lot. Yeah. I mean, who would fly out to Colorado? Probably not many parents. Would... Exactly. So you're wonderful people. That's why I gave you a bottle of water. Thank you. <laughs> Actually, I read down the bottle of water. You gave us wine. I'm joking. Yeah. All right. We'll be right back. To uh, table talk, I'm uh, Patricio, aka Rocky. I'm still joined by uh, Kirsten and Mike. And um, Mike, that um, that was a lot. Yeah, I mean, it w- it's it's been a journey. I'm 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 not gonna lie. It's a journey that no parent should ever have to go through. Honestly, it's yeah. Yeah, no, I I don't I don't ever wish that upon anybody. Yeah, I, I wouldn't wish that upon my worst enemy. Yeah, it's. Um, Jesus, 
I think, uh, well, I, I retract that. Me even saying Jesus <laughs> at, at that point, bro. Can yeah. I be funny now? No. Wait like five. <laughs> wait, wait, okay. wait like five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> we just came back from break. Damn it. <laughs> uh, uh, but no, we. Um, that 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 was beautiful, and thank you for uh, for sharing with us. Um, yes, honestly, I and mean, we're here for you. If you need anything, yeah. we'll figure it out. I have tons of resources. Right. And I have a particular set of skills. <laughs> Even though nobody listens to my podcast. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I mean, just kind of going back to what Don Price said a little bit ago, like like everybody has a story. And then it's and it's not like he didn't have a life and like he didn't exist because he had a little bit of a life. And then, you know, uh, we after we held him and said goodbye to him, everything uh, – we we wanted to do a cremation for him, and um, so they're in the process of doing that now. And then the uh, doctor's really cool. He does some photography on the side, and in the waiting room, they have a couple TVs with a Rolodex of his photos. He's, he's taken some really good photos from like all over the world and shit. So what I'm guessing that he did after they, you know, we say goodbye and kissed him, told him we love him and everything. Uh, I'm guessing how he's how he did the photos was, you know, he. You know, because um, being in the womb and being uh, when he died Monday night, uh, he regressed a little bit, so he didn't shrink completely, just a little bit smaller than he would have been. Um, his head was the disfigured slightly, but you know, not completely. So what I'm guessing he's doing is positioning him to hit, you know, to where he looks like he's sleeping and looks really cute and everything. And so they're gonna do that. Excuse me, they're going to send, uh... No, that sounds awesome. No, I what know. a great doctor to do yeah. something like that. I know, and he he's 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 really nice, too. They're going to send the photos with Even the... Even if uh, he was an asshole. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's still a fucking awesome thing to no, do. No, it is, it is. And, um... They're going to send the photos along with the ashes. And, um... And then what we're going to do, me and Leslie, um... Once the ashes come in, and once we save up a little bit of money, we're gonna take uh, some of the ashes and put them into a tattoo and get a couple of commemorative tattoos for them. That is a fantastic idea. That is, and right. then and That's then I, beautiful. And then I found I I found a tattoo shop that'll that'll actually do it because some tattoo shops are kind of sketchy on doing that because like oh we don't know how it's gonna happen and what's gonna happen how the ink's gonna react and you know that's 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 fair. So uh, they don't want to fuck you up exactly. So. So I found a shop that'll do it, and I actually messaged the manager, and he said, yeah, I've, I've done it before. I haven't had any problems with it. So I got cool, cool. And, and even if it does come fucked up, whatever. I mean, it means so much to you. Like, I would still have a part of him with me always. Exactly. Always, yeah. and then That's the bottom line. The tattoo that I want to get is going to be – I haven't decided on how – because I, I want angel wings for sure, but I, I, I haven't decided on what kind. But it's uh, – the phrase I want, it says – uh, too too beautiful for Earth, and it's gonna have his name and his birthday. Nice. And then wow. I'm gonna hit because like on that cause, sounds wonderful. Because on this shoulder I have my Celtic cross, and then right here is where on the other shoulder is where I want it. That sounds fantastic. And then, that sounds perfect. Les, Leslie's thinking of either getting it like like right here or somewhere like right here. She hasn't decided where she wants it yet. He's pointing to his wrist. Yeah, my <laughs> my forearm. Yeah, so, I forgot on radio you have to describe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's gonna get it on her forearm somewhere, but that's we're gonna do that. And then when the ashes and the photos come, we're gonna do like a little shadow box and um, the uh, blanket that we got. Um, we're gonna fold that up with his hat and a photo and do like a nice, cute little shadow box for him and put it, you know, on the dresser and the nursery because we have the nursery all set up. It's it, it's 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 ready to go, you know. His, um, you walk in the door, and his crib's against the far right wall, where the window is. When you look straight across, is where his dresser is. Yeah. And then the wall where the door is is his changing table and all the amenities with it. And we got this, and it's all like nautical theme, so it's 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 cool. And the rug is like a nice cool rug with like anchors and like um, life rafts and like like the old classic red and white style rafts on there. It it looks really cool and it's it's all ready to go. That and that could be gender. Yeah, and it's like know? it's all it's all like blue and white, so you know it could. If, if it's a girl. Yeah, I mean, if, and that's if you happen that, to have another kid. And that, that's what I was saying during the break. Um, like we like 
you know, we we want another boy, but you know, as if it comes out a girl, if it comes out a boy, I just want this one to be healthy this time, you know. Fair and valid. Yeah. I mean, hell yeah. You've made it to eight weeks. Now you've made it to twenty-eight weeks. Maybe this time will be the full full term. Healthy they say. Baby. They say. Um, Third time's a charm. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, we're fingers crossed on that one. Yeah. <laughs> um, if everybody says it, there's got to be some truth to it. Yeah. yeah. I think and, it's scientifically proven that third time is the charm. Um, and the cool thing is, out of this whole um, experience, um, Leslie has actually made friends with this uh, chick who's kind of going through the same thing that we're going through. And like since since we left Colorado and been back, she's been talking to her every day. And they've gotten to be really close. And they actually sent us a cool little care packages, and I actually showed you guys some of the photos during the break. And um, with the care package actually came this little uh, card. Let's see if I can find the photo. I can read it. So so this woman mm-hmm. that your wife's been talking to for yeah. a matter of weeks. Yeah. Well, said, well, at least, well, last week and this week, but yeah. like A matter lit- of weeks. Literally nonstop bet- every day back and forth, so it's, it's, it's actually really cool. Yeah. I'm not just... just Concerning but, their relationship. Matter of weeks, yes. But they made best friends, mm-hmm. which totally happens. Mm-hmm. But she sent you guys a care package? She sent us a little care package, and it's got, like, some, you know, body wash and this really, like, comfortable blanket. And it's, I, I felt the blanket. It's it's the softest blanket that, you, that you've that you ever, like, held. And there's, like, some chocolates in there. And uh, what else was in there? There was... Um, so what a sweet there's, thing there's, to there's do. There's some, uh, some uh, gum and these really super soft socks. There's like a nice little candle in there. Um, they did like a marshmallow fluff and chocolate Milano cookies. Those are really, I actually had one of those. They're actually really good. You ate the cookies? Yes, I ate the cookies. How co- dare you? Sir? I had one. Well, I had one. To. I had one. Well, one packet or one cookie? Fuck you, one cookie. <laughs> but what a sweet thought. No, it, it is a really cool gesture, and we're going to send them... Uh, a care package back as well, um, but they sent a card with it. What you see that, that, that? Those are the, that's different than the care package that I receive. What did what did the card oh, well, say? Wait, wait, wait. Do you I'm want to read get, the card? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm reading here in a minute. But he's saying that's different from the care packages he receives. His care packages probably come with bourbon and coke. <laughs> no, that's it. That's just uh, the, that's the breakfast of champions right there. Right <laughs> uh, my care packages include you know EVA bombs, you know oh, ammunition, shit. <laughs> lotion. <laughs> Do they come with a dildo too? <laughs> no, no, no. no. I tried that; it didn't work. <laughs> no, I said uh, no. I'm talking about like uh, fucking. I was making a Call of Duty reference, you know. Oh, <laughs> ammunition! You said you heard lotion. I heard. Lo- I honestly got heard lotion. <laughs> fucking ass. There was lotion in the basket. Uh, yeah. Uh, but anyway, so a part of this care package, this uh, couple, their names are Vic Felicia and their their baby who didn't make it. Their l- l- little baby girl named Violet. And uh, so the letter reads like this. It says, Leslie and Mike, I know we don't know each other, but we share an experience that makes me feel like we do. I truly believe Violet, uh, Violet sent you to me. I can't make it better, but I hope these things in the care package yeah. uh, help you through this. You will get through this. Love always, Felicia, Vic, and Violet. Wow. That is so touching. Yeah. And, that somebody... And we weren't, we weren't even in... Uh, expecting that like, like they didn't have to do that but it's it's so amazing that they like reached out to us and said hey you know you, you know, guys don't live in the same state they they're, have they're in uh north up in like north carolina somewhere that i mean that's that you know i, th- just... I, th- I thought that was the coolest thing because um i walk in from work earlier today and i see this box in this basket i'm like what's that she says oh hey so you know that girl felicia that i've been talking to i'm like yeah they sent us this care package. I'm like, what? It's like, yeah, it's got this all this cool stuff in it. And they sent us this letter. I'm like, oh, that, that's that's really nice of them. That is super that really sweet is, dude. I mean, and very touching. Yeah, I mean, I mean, we we definitely appreciate it, and we're going to send them. I would have cried. Yeah, and that, I th- I'm, honestly, I think Leslie did too when she first opened it, and then I read it, and I started getting a little misty. I'm like, oh, stop, stop, stop. <laughs> yeah, I, <laughs> but, I, I would have cried. But no, it was it was really cool of them to send us that care package and. You know, reaching out to us, and we're just glad that. Not to say that there's people glad that there's people in our situation, but I'm glad that people who are in our similar situations, like 
they they want to reach out and they want to help in any way that they can. Well, I mean, what's cool is.